There's the good life at a great price guaranteed. Copycat Emmy Gowns and rumored Hollywood split. Next BT. Heather Page Kent stars in That's Life. Premiere CBS Saturday, October 7th. Shoot. Drop it and turn around slowly. There's obviously been some kind of mistake. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there is. And you've made it. What do you think you're doing now, Isaac? Ah! <laughs> Congratulations. Not only did you bring Katie Petty to her knees, but you bought yourself a little vindication. She wanted fame, but she's going to have to settle for infamy instead. That's feeding frenzy on <laughs> I couldn't have done it without you and your eventual approval. Say what you want about revenge, Jake, but you know what? Now that everything's out in the open, I can finally hold my head up again. So tell me, how does it feel to be one of the good guys? Feels like... Like this. Not be happening. This cannot be happening. But happen, it did. Katie Peretti, this year's Endicott Award winner for Best Feature in Local News, WOAK's Golden Girl, was exposed as a fraud in a room overflowing with her well wishers and her peers. For months, she's lied to family, friends, co workers, employer, and to you, her viewers, just to steal some of the spotlight. How does it feel now, Katie? Was it worth it? Katie, a, a few words for your former fans. Uh, oh, hey, I was in the middle of my story. Did you get that? Here you go. Why does he get special treatment? Who's he? I'm a brother. Is that a problem for you? I am so ashamed. It's all right. It's all right. I'm going to take care of everything. I promise. Mm -hmm. Let's get out of here. Excuse us. And that was just the first shocker of the evening. During the tribute to Miss Peretti, a woman who was a dead ringer for a Mrs. Lily Snyder confessed from the podium that she had been impersonating the missing station owner for months. Ladies and gentlemen, you... you cannot make this stuff up. Nothing's going to stop me until I get my hands on Rose D'Angelo. I had to find her! We will, but first we've got to get you out of here, because those reporters will be all over you. Half of them work for you. Mob mentality, darling, and this is a story. Let's go. Now. First flight in the AM. I'm so out of here. It's a long old deal. Oh, Molly, Molly, Molly. Molly. No, no, I got it. All right, okay, okay. 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 I mean, I'll answer one question, question at a time. Molly. There's so many familiar faces here, but yes, Corey, what? Molly, what are you going to do now? Are you going to go back to your anchor seat on WOK? What? What's next for Katie? Criminal court. <laughs> <laughs> to tell you the truth, I, I don't really know what's next. All I know is that. <clears throat> All I know is what goes around eventually comes around. People get what they deserve. Not necessarily what they think they should have, but they definitely get what's coming to them. Molly, one more question, please. Come on, okay. Molly. I'll say that again. Uh, let me get back to you guys in a minute. <laughs> oh, so what did you think, huh? Oh. You guys are going to need some space. Wait, come, come on. on. There's no more, more space than that. All right, back up. Come on, guys. What do I think? Come on. I think that I have the craftiest daughter in the world. <laughs> oh, and, and what about that woman living at Holden's house? No one knew that she wasn't Lily. Where is Lily? What happened I'm to Lily? I'm sure Lily's at home trying to get back in the swing of things. Oh, that's fantastic. I can't wait to see her. 
Oh, Holden. I need to find Holden. Oh, bye. I'll see you. Mm. Rose. Oh, Miss no. D'Angelo, will you give us a statement? Rose, Rose please. What's it like living another woman's life? Yeah, what are you going to do now? Have you ever done this before? Huh? <laughs> you know something? There's not, there's not going to be any statements oh, at this time, come guys. Come on, okay? Rose. Give no us just a few statements. minutes, Look, unless okay? you want to hear the whole nine yards started with my fist across your face, you better back off, buddy. Just take care of it, Jake, please. D'Angelo. Oh, Jake. How did you get out of jail? What did you do? Did you con your way out? Pawn my wife's jewelry? What? Actually, I paid her bail. For you. You bailed her out? I bailed her out, Holden, so everyone could see what your trusted anchor was doing behind your back since the day you hired Look, her. Look, Holden, I know, what I, I know what I've done to you. No, you don't have the slightest idea. I just thought it would be a way to make it up to you. What are you talking about? You held me and my entire family up for public ridicule. You made us look like idiots! I never meant to do any harm. You gotta believe me. Believe you? you give me one good reason why I should believe you. I thought I was doing the right thing. This would never have happened if you had left her in jail, kept her out of my life. Guess what, my friend? I don't need your permission to bail her out. Rose D'Angelo is a free woman, and there's nothing you can do about it. Nothing? What? You want a picture? Yeah. You want a picture? You want a picture? You want a picture? You want a picture? As the World Turns is brought to you today by Febreze. Febreze cleans bad smells out of fabrics for good. Get into the zip of it at the fall sale happening now at Sears, where the entire Crossroads collection is 30% off. Like this hip little zipper vest, just $13.99. Perfect for adding some zip to your look for fall. All Crossroads clothing, all on sale, only at Sears. The good life at a great price. Guaranteed. Great for stains, great for freshness. Much better. Hey, I'm smelling pretty good. Yeah, maybe now you can get a girlfriend, huh? <laughs> you look so radiant. Introducing a totally effective breakthrough in anti-aging. Have you been on vacation? With an exclusive vitamin B and E complex called Vitaniacin. It fights the seven signs of aging. <laughs> you look beautiful. New total effects from Olay. Proven to reveal a remarkable transformation. In science, making things exactly the same is progress. But we make all day's breathable panty liners in long, regular, and small. So there's one that's right for you. Now that's progress. Only one of these covers is made of material that helps allow your skin to breathe. And it's the same unique material we use in all day's breathable, odor-absorbing panty liners. So you feel fresher than with any other liner. My hair feels healthier than before I colored. Casting Color Spa by L'Oreal. It's the gentle, no ammonia color. With essential oils. Healthy color, no grays. Casting Color Spa by L'Oreal Paris. It's healthy color I can feel, and I'm worth it. Now I don't have to vacuum to freshen my carpet. I've got a new partner. New carpet fresh, no vacuum. Foam and on, odors are gone. The carpet's freshened with no vacuuming. That's new. New carpet fresh, no vacuum. Freshens without vacuuming. Congratulations to David Letterman for winning the Emmy three years in a row. Tonight, catch Chris Rock and Emmy Lou Harris. Thursday, don't miss Vice President Al Gore. The making of a striving and thriving family business. Tomorrow on The Early Show. So, Dr. Green, let's have it. What's with the lab coat and why are you carrying in a file?
I actually just finished my rounds with my last patient, and so ah. I just... <laughs> That's good. That's good. Um, mm -hmm. Listen, Camille, it's probably best if you just forget that you ever saw me here. This is really none of your business. None of my business. But you know, Isaac, see? I wear a name tag, Camille Bennett. Camille Bennett. Both, both. Yeah. See, this entire place, this is my business. I work here, and that especially is my business. So hand it over. Andy Dixon? Camille Bennett, your hair looks so good. <laughs> Have I told you about... What are you doing here? Look, it's... It's about Ben, okay? The man's been going through it ever since he operated on Andy Dixon. You know what's been going on with him, don't yes, you? I know what's been going on, and I hate it. He is a talented, compassionate doctor. So you care about him? Well, of course I care about him, but where did your newfound attitude come from? Just say things change. Ben and I, we're, we're in a better place now. Well, good. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, but, you know, Ben can come and he's got access to any patient's file he wants. Not anymore. Not since Dixon took him off the case. Ben, he took a leave of absence from work, so I, I figured I'd come down here and see what I could find. In fact, since you all are such good friends, maybe you could help him out, too. Here. I'll put it on one. Oh. I've never had cognac. You're kidding. You have never tasted cognac? By the time you've made as many mistakes as I have, you'll have, you'll have your own signature brand. Hmm? I'm sorry about Sear. But I am so hmm. glad that you're here. You realize you would never have gotten into this predicament if your favorite brother had been around, huh? Yeah, I wouldn't have gotten out of it either. Oh, I just want to crawl up and die. They won't let you off that easy. Why are you doing this? Doing what? Being so nice to me the rest of the town, and my family want my head on a platter. And it's such a beautiful, intelligent, talented head. Families should stick together, right? Now, the rest of the world is going to forget all about this by the time the next big scandal comes around, but what those people did to you, what that, that, that playful, vengeful game, I will not soon forget. How are you doing, Mary? How can I ever go out again? How can I ever show my face again after that? Well, here. Hold down. Hmm? Tell me about it. What is there to tell, Craig? My career is in ashes, and the man that I love wants me dead. Holden, I never meant to do you anything. You know what? Enough. I, I don't want to hear any more from you. Fair warning, though. I will do everything I can to put you back behind bars. What are you talking about? The, the, the bail was for fraud charges. You know what? I'm sure if I dig deep enough, I'll find something else. No job, no money. Yeah, vagrancy, loitering. You'd really have her follow? Whatever it takes. No, well, I'll tell you what, then. In that case, Rose is staying with me. Next. Staying with you. Mm. What did she do? Did she con you too, Jake? Or are you just trying to get to the heart of the story here? Is that what this is? Because if it is, it's got to be a better way to make a buck. Yeah, come on, let's get out of here, okay? You know what? She came into my life. She tried to take my wife's place. If you had a wife, you would know what I'm talking about here. If I had a wife, and I hadn't seen her in a while, I'd make sure that she was right next to me. As a matter of fact, I'd be celebrating so much that it would go off the Richter scale. So let me tell you something, Holden. Why don't you just go home and celebrate? You know what? I wish that I could. Mr. Snyder. All right, let's back this baby up. Rose is going to be staying where?
Blueberry Toaster Scrambles aren't just real scrambled eggs, bacon, and cheese sauce and pastry. Mm. Bye. Whoa! They're the fuel a kid needs. <laughs> Pillsbury Toaster Scrambles. Easier mornings. Pop it right up. Is your asthma really under control? Yeah. But sometimes I wheeze. Ever wake up short of breath? I do. Use your fast-acting inhaler more than twice a week. I use mine every day. If that's what you call control, ask your doctor if prescription FlowVent is right for you. FlowVent twice a day helps control the inflammation that can cause asthma symptoms in the first place and helps improve lung function. FlowVent won't replace fast-acting inhalers for sudden attacks. People switching from an oral steroid like prednisone to FlowVent, an inhaled steroid, need to be especially careful. While adjusting to the switch, your body is not as able to heal after surgery, infection, or serious injury. See your doctor if your asthma does not improve. Now this is control. FlowVent. Helping you to find asthma control. This has more calcium than Tums? It's true. Maalox Quick Dissolve Chewables have more calcium than regular Tums. That's even better. And they dissolve faster than Tums. I'm going to go for the Maalox. Quick Dissolve your heartburn away and get more calcium. No doubt about it. We got a 409 in progress. This will be messy. <laughs> Stubborn grease. Here's the facts. Antibacterial fantastic wipes out this messy grease better than 409. So it's one tough plane. <laughs> What's that? It's nothing. Fantastic leaves no greasy residue. This stuff is pretty good. No, man. It's fantastic. Antibacterial fantastic. Tap on grime. Did you ever notice that some days are just better than others? Like Sears Kenmore Days, with 0% financing on all Kenmore appliances over $3.99. And free delivery on every one of those beautiful Kenmore washers, dryers, and refrigerators you keep promising yourself because, well, they help make some days a lot better than others. So don't let another one go by. Sears Kenmore Days. The good life at a great price. Guaranteed. Help you. After my primary question of why should I... The secondary question is, if this help you how? Help me understand. The Ben said the operation went off without a hitch. As far as I know, yeah. So, then, if, if the operation was successful, there has to be some other reason for Andy's paralysis. Like? Like? A, a nurse or an orderly must have slipped up. I mean, say they, they moved him improperly after the operation. I mean, that could be, couldn't it? Look, Isaac... It... Could be is a long jump away from is. Okay? Not if we have written proof. Now, can you help me find the files from Andy? Written work order, anything, any requisitions, anything that had to do from his time after the operation until he had that final exam with the big wigs. Well, I, mean, I knew I could count on you. Wait, wait, hold up a minute. That would be violating patients' privacy and confidentiality laws, okay? I'm not here for other patients. I'm here because of Ben. Because of all the other staff members that came in contact with Andy, and because somebody else could be to blame. That's it. <laughs> Mm. You're working late tonight. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I am. Um, you know, Dr. Dixon's coming back and he's... Excuse me for just a second. What are you doing? Look, I know I can trust you. Trust me? Since when? If you go over the files and you find everything is on the up and up, so be it. Okay? Okay. What I need to know is when did you become Ben's champion? Look, I'm nobody's champion. This is about... It's personal. It's about repayment. It's about doing what's right. It's about the fact that if some candy striper messed up, there's no reason to ruin a good doctor's career. Look, Isaac, proving this one way or another is not going to be as simple as you think it is. Then help me simplify. Look, we'll do it together. You don't want Ben to pay for something he didn't do. Will you help Ben, Camille? Will you help me? Jake? Uh, he didn't mean it. No. He was just being a stand-up guy to get holding off my case. Thank you. Thanks very much. Oh, hey. No problem. And, no problem. And, uh, congratulations, Molly. Jake. But uh, I, I'm out of here. You guys, you don't do anything I wouldn't do. I, I gotta go. Bye-bye.
You know something, Rose? That, that actually wasn't an invitation. So this whole thing gets put to bed. I, I think you're better off staying with me. It's a precautionary kind of thing. Against what? Well, she stays with me, she stays out of trouble. I mean, I can make sure I can get her to court. I can, I can keep Emily and, and, and Holden and the rest of the press Oh, away from her. so it's your responsibility to keep Rose safe and sound. That's great, Jake. You know, I've taken care of myself for a very long time, and I'm going to be just fine. So don't worry, okay? Bye-bye. No, no, Rose, listen, you skip town, you skip bail. You do not want to make an enemy of me. So like it or not, you are staying with me. Well, I think it stinks. So do I. Join the club. Holden came to me. He asked me to fill in for her. And after she got caught sleeping with the boss's son, Holden asked me to fill Molly's seat. And I was good. I got that job on my own merit. I believe you. And that news story about how that lunatic stalked me, I'm the one who had to live through it. I'm the one who had to relive it every night on camera for weeks. I'm sorry you had to go through that. But Holden was there. The whole time. He was like my personal bodyguard. And I can honestly say that I don't know how I would have gotten through that if he hadn't been there. We were more than just employer employee, we were friends. He confided in me. I mean, who else did, would he have to turn to? His wife was off chasing after another man. He was so ready to leave her more than once. He's just way too proud to admit it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe you picked the wrong man. A married kid. Yeah, and so are you. How's Sierra, Craig? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's just that nobody understands. All I was trying to do was be good at my job and stick up for a friend in need, and things just started flying out of control. I went from reporting the news to being the news in no time flat. How's Montega this time of year? Well, are you gonna skip town? You gonna run away? No. I can help you rise above. Well, first, you have to draw your own, okay? And then we will figure out our next move. And week, week after week, all I could think about was getting home. Just get home. Just be around the people who care about you and love you. They'll take care of you. But no one even realized I wasn't here. Darling, who could ever have imagined that there would be another girl on this earth who looked even remotely like you? You've always been my one of a kind. Until the trashy imitation showed up. Sweetheart, don't be too hard on us. You know, we thought you were psychotic. We thought you were sick. <sighs> oh. I used to be so happy here. In this house. But now this house seems emptier than that prison cell. At least in the prison cell, I had Simon. I think you've had too much of him. No. I imagine much he saved much. my life. Please. Please stop talking about him like that. He's a good man. At least he doesn't call the cops to do his dirty work. Oh. Great. What's wrong now? Yes, Holden. There is a rhythm to life. We sleep at night and wake in the morning. It's this sleep cycle that helps keep us in a healthy balance. But for millions of Americans, sleep doesn't always come easy. Fortunately, there's Ambien. Ambien is a prescription sleep aid that can help you get a full night's sleep. With Ambien, you fall asleep fast, stay asleep longer, and generally wake without feeling groggy the next morning. No wonder Ambien is the number one prescribed sleep aid in America. Until you know how Ambien will affect you, you shouldn't drive or operate machinery. Side effects may include drowsiness, dizziness, and diarrhea. You shouldn't take it with alcohol. Patients who abuse prescription sleep aids may become dependent. 
Prescription sleep aids are most often taken for seven to ten days as needed. Your doctor will advise you about taking them longer. Take Ambien only when you can devote a full night to sleep and wake up rested and ready to start your day. Talk to your doctor about Ambien. Ambien works like a dream. Are you sure you followed the recipe? How old is this? Was there a recipe? Having too much wine with dinner? Serve up Roni, pasta Roni, fettuccine Alfredo. And all you'll hear is... More, please! Roni, leave the wine behind. Recently, a study conducted at Harvard University found that drinking orange juice every day may reduce the risk of stroke by 25%. Evidently, the word is out. 100% pure Florida orange juice. Drink a glass every day. What's the question? Hi. Hi. Hey, what's with the makeup? She's got a date. It's not a date. It's just a group thing. Yeah, what time's this group thing over with? Um, 10.30. Whoa, well, try again. All right, 10 o'clock. Don't forget what we talked about, no? Drinking and no smoking. Right. And no kissing. <laughs> no kissing. <laughs> here, I have to go. Bye, Daddy. Bye. Talk to your kids about not smoking. Hey, you want a cigarette? No, thanks. They'll listen. What were you saying? My hair's a color. Hey, it's Franklin, coming over from our house. Sears has Franklin, take it home to your house. Sears and Franklin. Get over to Franklin headquarters at Sears and find everything Franklin on sale, including exclusive Franklin clothing that you can only find at Sears. And with a $25 purchase of Franklin merchandise, you'll get a free Franklin the Turtle flashlight. Sears has Franklin, coming over to our house. Sears, the good life at a great price, guaranteed. Big Brother's been watching, but didn't see what was coming. What happens if we leave? There ain't no show. All of us are gonna have to go. Will the house guests abandon the game and the half-million-dollar prize? Money's just not that important. Will they outsmart Big Brother and bring down the entire show? We win. Trouble's brewing on an all-new Big Brother, CBS Tonight. Finally, a show that tells it like it is about husbands and wives. Why don't you just give her the day off? One day off, and she's gonna be okay? They're never okay. Yes, dear, premieres Monday, October 2nd. Dr. Laura wants to know, when is an affair an affair? I don't know at what point I crossed that line. Intimacy on the Internet. It tears lives apart and destroys marriages. Next, Dr. Laura. Today at 3 on CBS 2. delivery and installation plus take an extra hundred dollars off any closet garage or office system summer's almost over but it's not too late to be in the best shape of your life there's still time to look and feel fantastic join valley total fitness now for just five dollars to start plus get your first six months free of dues call 1-800-FITNESS now this incredible offer ends soon the body of your life is just around the corner but this great offer is almost gone join now for just five dollars to start plus get six months free of dues it's your last chance call valley total fitness today behind the scenes of dr laura's new tv show tonight at five bed midler comes to television in her very first series cbs wednesday october 11th there's a key to the records room by the by the desk. Here's what I'll do. I'm going to distract Isaac. the nurse. No, no, no. Follow me now. Just follow my lead. I'm going to go. Then you meet me at the elevator. Okay. Excuse Let me. Let me get out of here right now. Oh, sure. No problem. Thanks. Look, we don't have to do this. I, I got a couple of bucks. I can stay somewhere for a few days. Oh, this is not going to be over in a couple of days. Oh, so Rose is going to be staying with you indefinitely? That's Mom. great. You know, I hope you two will be very happy together. It's not, it's not going to be forever. Listen to me. Listen hey, to me. what is forever, Boy, really? Look, we're not shacking up. I'm just protecting my investment. I paid her bail. I'm not, you know, if she skips down, I'm not several thousand dollars, which I've become very fond of. Right. We wouldn't want that. No, I, look, I don't want to get Mom. in the middle of this, and I've had enough trouble to last a lifetime, so I'm out of here. Goodbye, no, everyone. I'm not in the middle of any anything, okay? I want to hear that from your girlfriend. Molly, come on. Are we cool or what? Yeah, sure, we're cool. 
I mean, it's not like you're the first woman that Jake's moved into his apartment, you know? It's like Jake's bed and breakfast, special rates for women in distress. Hey, Abigail, just in time, listen. So why don't, why don't we get out of here before the photographers get a chance to reload? Oh, okay? That's a good idea. Yeah, is, is there any way I could introduce you two beautiful young ladies and coming back to my place and having a nightcap? Come on, come on, come on, you guys. Come over and celebrate. Come Your over. Your big night. Did, did I miss something? <laughs> Jake stood me up. I did not stand you up. Yeah, he's taking Rose back to his place instead of me. What? <laughs> why? I, I thought you and Molly had... It, it, it was Jake's idea. It was Would not you mine. Suffer Trust me. I'll explain it all you... to you later. Listen, Jake, thanks very much, but maybe some more or less crowded time. Have fun. Ma Molly, li listen to me, listen to me. Listen, I, I, I wanted to go have fun with you. Yeah, it's you, okay? crazy how fast plans change, you know? No warning at all. Oh, I have to get Rose out of here. I will call you. I will call you. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. The party's over. Let's get out of here. What just happened here? I thought you and Jake, you guys had plans, and he's walking away with Rose. Why is she getting the guy here with absolutely no effort? Abigail, Rose did not get Jake, okay? I mean, she's just gonna stay there for a little while until ev till everything calms down, that's all. You trust her? I don't know her. Exactly. And I'm not saying that she should not be trusted. She's nice. But... Bingo. All right, honey. Y you lived with Rose for a while. Why don't you tell me all about her? I'm not the only one to blame, you know. Ah, now there's the old Katie. Serious. They all wanted something out of Holden, and they were all willing to do anything to get it. Rose wanted money. Molly wanted her job back. Henry wanted Holden's job. All I wanted was Holden. Well, you said when you worked together you got close, right? He knows you didn't mean any harm. He knows you just made a mistake. Tell him it won't happen again. Yeah, damn right it won't happen again, Katie, because you're never going to work for me again. Oh, I think we can convince Holden to keep you on in some capacity. There's a million things you can do there, right? And after a while, he'll... he'll change his mind. Yeah, after a few hundred centuries, anything's possible. My days at W.A.K. are over. Katie, you are good at what you do. They were about to give you the Endicott Award, right? That is good in anybody's book. Holden will realize he can't afford to lose a talent like you. Are you kidding me? He has every reason in the world to get rid of me. Personal, professional, I have zero credibility. There's no way. There's no way. There is always a way. You don't know Holden as well as you think you do. Well, I understand human nature. And they have to give you credit for being ambitious. Huh? <laughs> You make it sound too easy. Well, it's not. But it can be done. Think about it. Here. Well, sit down. And when you're feeling better, I will get you home. Home? Hmm. To Tom and Margot's? Not after tonight. They hate me. I'd rather sleep in the street. What did I miss, Lily? I have to check on the kids. Well, <laughs> I'm only a mother. Far be it me to interfere. Then don't. <sighs> you will never guess what you missed at the Endicott's tonight. Oh, darling, we heard every ghastly moment of that girl's performance. Yeah, but I bet you didn't hear the latest. Your boy, McKinnon. He was the one who bailed Rose out of jail. He's the one who put her up to exposing Katie. My editor? Yes. What goes on in that man's arm? Oh, wait Well, minute. that's, that's not all of it. Him. There's more. It gets even better. Rose is going to be living with Jake at his place. She's going to be staying there at least until this thing blows over. And what is wrong with my wife? Well, darling, your wife collected a lot of things that... Miss D'Angelo had left around here and put them in a box and took them down to the police station where she was mistaken for Rose and locked up. Mistaken for Rose? Yes. She must have been pretty ticked off. You cleared it up, though, I assume. Oh, darling, I did whatever I could do. She must have been furious. Well, mm, no, not really. She was rather composed because... 
there was company in the next cell. It was Simon. At GEICO, we're always looking for faster ways to process your car insurance claims. One idea, airlifting claims adjusters right to the site of the accident. We're over the target. I don't see the car. It's that little black dot. They're all little black dots. Come on. Geico Direct. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Pepperidge Farm Sausalito cookies. Mounds of chocolate and macadamia nuts. Hey, if you're gonna have a cookie, have a cookie. Pepperidge Farm. Never have an ordinary day. Eating your favorite foods can be a real pain when you've got a mouth sore. Origel Mouth Sore Medicine has triple action. Relieves pain, soothes the sore, and helps prevent infection. Origel Mouth Sore Medicine. Feel better, fast. What will he discover today? Well, with the new Play School Step Start Walk and Ride, Baby Power turns unsteady steps into great adventures. It's two toys in one. Play School. Come and discover. What will she discover today? Baby-powered expeditions at the new Play School Discovery Table. Here she'll create and explore. Airplane. With silly friends and more. Let's play. Play School. Come and discover. Mark John Jeffries here for People PC. Many people wonder how good a computer People PC can possibly offer for just $24.95 a month, along with unlimited internet access, in-home service, and great deals. Is a People PC computer a no-name piece of free world junk? No, my friends, it is not. In fact, when you call People PC, you get a four-star rated brand name computer for as little as $24.95 a month over 36 months. Gateway also offers a powerful machine, but they charge hundreds more overall. People PC gives you three years of in-home service. Gateway includes only one. Mm -hmm. Internet access, People PC, three years unlimited. Gateway just one. No wonder over 85% of our members have recommended People PC to a friend. I hope this clears up any ambiguity. For a smarter, simpler way, call People PC anytime, day or night at 1 800 People PC. Tonight on 60 Minutes 2, what could be more memorable than Tina Turner solo? Tina with Mike Wallace, a brand new interview tonight at 9, 8 Central. Latin music moves your feet, moves your heart and is making history. The first annual Latin Grammy Awards. See the superstars. Ricky Martin, Carlos Santana, Jennifer Lopez, Christina Aguilera, in sync. And experience the rhythm of the world. The Latin Grammys, live Wednesday, right here on CBS. I hear that it was old home night, down on the cell block. I don't want to talk about this. Are you so used to being stranded with this guy? That when you get arrested and thrown into a cell, it's okay as long as he's in the cell next to you. You know, if you decide to bail out on your old life again, I certainly hope that you'll tell me about it this time. Why are you obsessed with him? I'm not the one who's obsessed. Oh, you are. You are, and it really turns my stomach. Every time you turn around, you're talking about him. You know what the worst part? The other part that really makes me sick is the way you had him arrested at the airport. I did what? You had him detained for extradition to Canada. No. No, I didn't do that. Do you really think that I would have him thrown in a local jail cell so that he can hang around here for a few more weeks? I don't, I don't know what I think. I'm not sure of anything anymore. Ever since I found out it was so easy for you to fall for somebody that you thought was me. Easy? You really think that it was easy living with that woman? A lot easier than it's going to be for me. I was just thinking, has it occurred to you that you're one of the few women in Oakdale who hasn't spent the night at Jake's? Excuse me? Or maybe you have. Have you? Abigail, I am your mother. And that part of my personal life is none of your beeswax. Oh, so it's fine to gossip about Rose and Jake, but not about you and Jake? That's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> fine. 
Okay, so let's talk about Rose as... as Lily. She was... You know what? She was fun sometimes. Fun how? Fun. Fun different. She laughed a lot. She sang a lot. Y you saw her at the telethon. She was incredible. She gave me makeup tips. She loosened up the rolls. A lot. And I heard she was a genius in the kitchen. What about with Holden? I mean, how, how did she try to... Try to out Lily and Lily? I didn't really pay attention to that. But I noticed that she pulled away from Holden, from all of us, and then became this all things to all people, perfect playtime mom to the kids. She was cool with me and with Hold Holden. You, you don't think she's up to something with Jake, do you? No. No. I was just thinking that maybe we ought to go over for that nightcap after all. Molly's gonna kick herself for missing out on all this. Go, Molly. Molly's not gonna be missing a thing. We're gonna spend spend plenty of nights together. Mm. Molly's a very lucky girl. That's what I keep telling her. Here you go. Oh. It's for the uh, for the guest guest bedroom. No. I can get my own place. I don't want to put you out. No, 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 no. Until Lucinda gets you a lawyer and this whole brouhaha dies down, you are my guest, whether you like it or not. And after that, you're free to go. And how long do you think that'll take? It takes as long as it takes, so why don't you just uh, make yourself at home? Mikasa is su casa. <laughs> you'll 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 have your space and I'll have mine. Why'd you say that? What? I'll have my space. You'll have your space. Don't get any ideas that I'm gonna sleepwalk into your bedroom <laughs> and right into your bed. Okay? Please. Yeah, at least your house broken. <laughs> because not only would your girlfriend, whom I happen to Please. admire for getting a piece of Katie Peretti tonight, not only would she tear every eyeball I have out, <laughs> two, <laughs> one at a time, I am an old-fashioned kind of gal. I'm a one-man woman. Even if the man's married. Yeah. That's the breaks. Right? That's your jumpy. You're like, yeah, you're like a cat. You're like me. You know those guys at the high roller tables? They're sitting there, they, they, know, they look out of their eye in everybody's hand. They know what they're holding, they know what the dealer's not holding. You don't miss a trick. I'd be sunk before we even started. That's the nicest rejection I think I've ever had. Well, I like to lay things out on the table so we know where we stand, mm. okay? Well, you know, since you bear a striking resemblance to my boss's daughter, I will keep a respectable distance. Mm. You're a gentleman. Spread Thank the word. <laughs> What a day. Mm-hmm. Good night. Good night. So how does it look? Any red flags? So far, it looks like everything went according to doctor's orders. Each time the patient was moved, bathing, linen changes, anything. There was a, a physical therapist or nurse on hand, and everything looks normal, Isaac. Nothing's out of the ordinary. What? So Ben was right. Right about what? Hypothetical situation. Let's just assume, for the sake of argument, the operation went fine. No hitches. Okay. Then let's factor in what you said. Andy received VIP treatment. All the doctors followed instructions to the letter. Ben was there to watch over everything like a hawk. Am I right so far? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Well, if everybody did their jobs, and they're all people to be trusted, that means the only person responsible for Andy not walking is Andy. Go, honey. Hey, okay, let's get ready. Over here. That should do it. <laughs> New and improved Angel Soft is now softer and 35% thicker. When it needs to be Angel Soft. 
Get into the zip of it at the fall sale happening now at Sears, where the entire Crossroads collection is 30% off. Like this hip little zipper vest, just $13.99. Perfect for adding some zip to your look for fall. All Crossroads clothing, all on sale, only at Sears. The good life at a great price. Guaranteed. Actual size of hazelnut. Actual size of hazelnut flavor in Hazelnut Flavor Coffee Mate. The rich, creamy taste of Carnation Coffee Mate from Nestle. Flavor doesn't get any bigger. This weekend, Enterprise Rent-A-Car announces special low rates from just $9.99 a day. Friday till Monday from just $9.99 a day. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. I don't want to build a skyscraper. I don't want to bench press 250. <laughs> you couldn't pay me to be 14 again, though 30 was good. All I want is to hang out with my guys. Viox is here, a prescription medicine for the most common type of arthritis pain, osteoarthritis. One little pill, taken just once a day, can provide 24-hour relief. People with allergic reactions such as asthma to aspirin or other arthritis medicines should not take Viox. In rare cases, serious stomach problems such as bleeding can occur without warning. Tell your doctor if you have liver or kidney problems. For more information, ask your doctor or pharmacist about once daily Viox for the relief of osteoarthritis pain. And you may be able to plan your day around your life instead of your pain. Viox, for everyday victories. It's everything. Dashing. I can't function without a freshly cut flower in my lapel. Dangerous. You're in my town now, and you play by my rules. To die for. Your wish is my command. And you thought all the good men were taken. They're not. They're available on Guiding Light. Now what happens next is everything. Do you realize what you're suggesting? That Andy faked paralysis in that exam that was supposed to clear Ben's name of wrongdoing. That he's been faking since then. Okay, look, Isaac, I know you're upset about Ben. I, I am incredibly sorry about what is going on with him. You know that. But you can take Andy Dixon's name off any kind of suspect list, okay? Why should I? The exam would have proved him to be a fraud. How? Well, you see, they test little things like a patient's involuntary motor reflexes. Things that a patient can't control. Involuntary, like like heartbeat, like blinking, things Absolutely, like that. Absolutely, precisely. Those can be controlled, Camille, through through focus, through 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 drugs. You know, there's so many pharmaceuticals running around this hospital, you all probably don't even know the half of it. Is there a drug that can make it look like Andy can't walk just long enough to fool some MDs? Is there something like that? Look, Isaac, even if there so is... So you're saying really... no, there is. No, what I am saying is Andy wouldn't have access to anything like that. First of all, look, he had no authorization. And let's also just remember that the man wasn't mobilized, okay? I know two people that did have access. His father and stepfather. Oh. They just happened to be two of the oh. top docs around this no, hospital. No, you didn't just... Oh. So now you're going to try to blame the man's entire family. You know, Isaac, you are not going to make a lot of friends in this hospital by... by... You know what? And you're, you're losing a friend in me right now. This conversation is over. You know, you're supposed to be such a good friend to Ben. You say you'd do anything for him. Why don't you give him the same benefit of doubt and, and blind respect that you give these other people? Oh, that's right. They sign your paychecks. Get out. And don't make me call security, Isaac. Because you don't belong in here, all right? No, I don't. But I know a man that does. The type of man that steps up and admits when he makes a mistake. But he didn't, Camille. You know it, and I know it. And if he didn't make a mistake, that means somebody else did. Somebody who wants him out of the way. Somebody who... who somebody with the authority. Uh, Isaac, if, if you could just slow down for a second, okay? And consider the facts, and, and stop trying to cook up some crazy conspiracy theory here. I know the facts, Camille. Do you? I, I can't figure out why this isn't working between us. You know, what? The, the first time I met you, I said, beautiful woman. I could look at her all day. And then I spoke to you, and I said, intelligent. 
a challenge. But intelligence, I could, I could talk to you all night. The question is, is now that you know what you know, as intelligent as you are, what are you going to do with the information? Since the 50-year-old cognac did not do anything for you, maybe this is more your speed. And yes, you can't spend the night. But you have to be out by 9 a.m. You can't stay here forever. How much do these suites go for, anyway? Not like well, I can afford it. I'm unemployed and unemployable. We will go see Holden about the employment situation. You don't have to do that. I'll just make sure things don't get too personal. I can't go back there, Craig. You must and you shall. Take this from a guy who has suffered the slings of outrageous fortune. The time has come to act. The more you hide, the longer it will take to get through this. And you will get through this, because now you have something you did not have before. What's that? Me. This is what happens when couples don't communicate. No, this is what happens when husbands get emotional and jump to conclusions and accuse their wives of doing things that they would never do in a million years. When a man can't even pick out a woman he's known half of his life out of a lineup. It was a mistake. A, mis a mistake that almost cost me my life. That could still cost me my marriage. All I did was live my life. I didn't know that I had to take your fingerprints every time you a came through the door. A mistake, a mistake doesn't go on month after month. She must have tricked you, but you must have wanted to be tricked. No. I didn't want to be tricked. I wanted you. How could you want me, Holden? When you don't even know me. Oh, and your boyfriend does. Is that it? You can say anything you want about him. But Simon saved my life. And when I saw those photographs of you kissing another woman that you thought was me, and when I realized that you would never come looking for me because you didn't realize I was gone, Simon was the one who convinced me. He said, you know, you may not have a faithful husband to go home to, but you have two beautiful children who need you. And they could not possibly understand anything that's been going on. But there will be people that will tell them. Now, thanks to your little girlfriend's keynote speech tonight. You know what? Those people there, they were my friends, too. They were my family. They were my co-workers. I happen to live in this town, too. This is what I come home to. This is what I fought every day. Fought to survive for this. Maybe I shouldn't have bothered. Lily. Lily. I don't understand. Why don't you just take some strawberries, some champagne, and head on over to Jake's? Because, Abigail, I'm trying to do it right this time. I, I, exactly opposite of everything I would have done before. So I can't. I just, I can't. Okay, if you say so. You know, besides, Jake would probably see through every single excuse. He, he'd probably even enjoy it, and then he'd hold it over my head for the next couple of centuries, and... No. I, you know, I can't let him think that I don't trust him, because I can. I can. I do. So you and Jake are exclusively going out or whatever. We have an understanding, I think. No. I'm, I'm definitely not going over there. I'm not even going to think about him. Where's that chocolate sauce? It's <laughs> more like it. Forget about him and... Mm. Hello? Hey, beautiful. Who's this? The guy that can't get you out of his mind. Oh, you mean the bane of my existence? The troublemaker that I can't seem to shake? You got me. Look, I, uh, I thought I'd call. Maybe I'd get a phone tuck. <laughs> Excuse me? You know, you, uh, you 
tuck me in bed over the phone and wish me sweet dreams. You're in bed? What are you wearing? <laughs> I'll tell you what, if you play your cards right, maybe you'll find out. I miss you. Good. I miss you, too. So, um, I mean, how's Rose? I can find out she's in the next room sound asleep. Not a creature is stirring, except yours truly. You were saying all the right things tonight. Let me tell you something. I'm just starting. <sighs> Thanks for everything, Jake. And for once, I'm not miserable. It's the nasal crumb. Unlike these, it can't make you drowsy. And unlike these, it can't make you jittery. Maybe that's why allergists recommend nasal crumb most. Nasal crumb. The best way to stop suffering is never to start. I'm serious when it comes to wrinkles. So I use line eraser from L'Oreal Paris with retinol. The most serious anti-wrinkle action you may ever take. To help erase the look of first lines, fine lines, even those lines we've learned to live with. Line eraser, now with SPF 15. Look to the star, and you just might forget the rash that comes from being wet. Discover the dryness of today's Huggy Supreme Diapers. They're so breathable, they help keep your skin dry, and this helps prevent rash caused by wetness. Huggy Supreme. Rash and wetness just won't do. Stay dry, and you'll stay happy, too. your clothes they're where you live and sometimes life leaves odors there the good news is you can clean those odors away with new febreze clean wash use it with your usual detergent